to Chestnut County Speedway, or should I say Super Speedway, race fans, for race number four in the Super Late Model Regulation Series. I'm Mike McLam, your commentator and driver of the Valvoline Green Machine, trying to recover from our loss at the Mountain Shadows, and perhaps sneak our way back into that all-important points lead. Super Speedways, despite my dislike of them, have been our forte in most NASCAR games, but will that translate to the short tracks here in the Super Late Model Series? We'll have to see, as it's full throttle all the way around this half-mile racetrack, and the last to first challenge is in full effect. Green flag is in the air, let's bring the noise here in Chestnut County. First three laps of the race is complete. Eddie Crawford out there to an absolute commanding lead as we're going to try to weave our way through traffic here. Getting around Margie Brooks. We we're kind of making that high line work for us for just a little bit, but we had to duck down low for a little while there. Yeah, I'm not a fan of this. We get around Eric Erickson up into the top 14 now. We were already up at P15. But yeah, I'm not a fan of this racetrack. This is real unfortunate. It does have a nice shape to it, but yeah, full throttle racing around here, just uh, that just doesn't cut it, unfortunately. But we're quickly making our way up into the top 10. Ooh, got a little bit loose off four that time. We're gonna work our way around Billy Green. Ricky Cox up ahead of us right now. He's battling side by side with Jets Jesse Wright. Well, almost there. Can he get to the inside? We're going to go to the high side. Jesse Wright and myself were involved in that accident at Mountain Shadows. Ricky Cox takes over P10. And we're going to drive around him on the outside. Now I'm going to work on Tommy Bailey, but it shouldn't be too much of a stretch to get around him. Should be pretty easy. He's fighting back on the inside, but I think we can make this high line work. This is where I was kind of running in practice, kind of running this second lane up here. Seemed to, seemed to work best for the car. The bottom wasn't really the way to go. At least not for this setup. Ooh, yeah, <laughs> that's one of the reasons why. You get kind of loose off the corner, running the very, very bottom of the racetrack. At least I do. I'm pretty sure I could probably change the setup of the car for that, but... Right now, we're doing pretty good. Running that second lane as we just got around Robbie Collins. Inside of Rodriguez in the 69. Hashtag nice. Now chasing down Chase Jones. Who is trying to get his way around lap traffic. Look at him shucking and jiving up there. Which way do we go? We're going to go to the high side. He's going to go to the inside of Ned Hill. Can he get around him? Oh, we overdrove that corner just a little bit. Yeah, I know. We can't really overdrive if you're already going full throttle. We just missed the corner. Turned in just a bit late there. I'm going to try to get to the inside of Ned Hill. He's being held up by Chuck Diaz. We go up into P7. Whoa, Jones is around. Chase Jones spins off turn number two. Caution is out. That's going to stack everyone back up. We're going to start P6 on the outside lane. Eddie Crawford did not want to see that because he was dominating this race. But here we go. Green flags back in the air. We spun the tires. We got up into the wall. I don't think that hurt us too bad. But we got 10 laps to go. Here. In the race. As we're now trying to catch up to these guys. Going to go to the outside of Samantha Bell. Can't quite get there. Look to the outside once again. 
Okay, yeah, we're up with the fast guys now, so this is going to be a bit more challenging. Eight laps to go. And Brian Ramirez has taken over the race lead from Eddie Crawford. This is why Crawford didn't want to see that yellow flag come out. Now he's got to fight for the lead back. We're stuck behind Murphy. Nowhere to really go here. Kind of pinned on the outside. Ooh, can we go three wide in the middle? Here we go. Ooh, Samantha Bell really made it work down there on the bottom. Ooh, got a little bit loose there. Almost got up into Kevin Murphy. Ryan Ramirez is starting to drive away. Five laps to go in the race. I'm trying like heck to catch up to Samantha Bell, but it looks like we might be able to get around Ned Hill here for the top five position. Can we do anything with Samantha Bell? Four laps to go. Mm. It's going to be a tall order, man. I don't know. I think the damage is starting to affect the car just a little bit. We got up into the wall once again. Come on. Can we get around Samantha? She puts the block on. We put the bumper to the back of the 45. But couldn't do anything with it. Samantha's going to drive away. And Eddie Crawford takes over the race lead once again. Ned Hill gets around us for the top five. Two laps to go in the race. Oh, now they're stuck in lap traffic. Who is going to make it to the line first? White flag is in the air. One more time around. Can Eddie Crawford hang on? He is mired back there, pinned in lap traffic as we're trying to get around Ned Hill. Eddie Crawford hangs on off turn number four and wins here at the chestnut county speedway we come home with a top five finish all right guys so here are the race results for the super late model regulation series race here at chestnut county eddie crawford is your race winner he finally got him one he finally got him one dominant at uh at stafford just missed out samantha bell got the win there and he was pretty good last week too. He came in second, just about got himself a second win, but he manages to get himself one today. Harry Nelson comes in second, Samantha Bell in third. Fourth is Brian Ramirez, last week's winner, I believe. And we round out the top five. <laughs> <laughs> top five, top five. Uh, Ned Hill, Kevin Murphy, Ricky Cox, Robbie Collins, and Jesse Wright will round out the top ten. Here is the rest of the field where you can pick out your favorite fantasy SRX uh, super late model driver, Eric Erickson in 16th. One lap down, or the end of last car, one lap down. So then on, we have Timmy Richardson through Ned Montgomery finishing, oh sorry, through Chuck Diaz finishing one lap down. Two laps down will be Harold Rodriguez, Vince Thomas, and Zach Edwards. And here are the point standings after Chestnut County. Eddie Crawford gets himself the points lead. Finally. <laughs> Finally, I mean, like that's going to be the car to beat. I, Eddie Crawford is definitely going to be the car to beat. Finally, getting himself a win. And Brian Ramirez falls back to second. We're still holding tight in third, uh, only ten points behind Brian Ramirez. So we can we can make that up. We got some good tracks coming up as well. Harry Nelson, Samantha Bell will round out the top five. Only four out of the top five actually getting a win this season, but they're still. Uh, you know, there's still quite a few races to go so like look for some of these guys to either double up on their wins and possibly some new guys to potentially get their first win of the season all right ladies and gentlemen so what did we learn today wheel spin is going to be a thing in this game <laughs> that is the first time i have experienced wheel spin and it also kind of explains why these guys tend to start pretty slow why i get such a launch on the start over these guys is because well wheel spin is a thing i've been kind of backing it up so i don't run them over on the start um but that was probably the first time i'd actually experienced some genuine wheel spin and spun myself into the wall if the wall wasn't there i'd have spun out like all together so that was interesting. <laughs> that was definitely interesting. Um, at the end of the day, it wound up being a decent race for the top five. It wound up being one, but like I'm gonna be honest with you guys, full throttle around a short track just ain't it. 
<laughs> that's that it, it, it just ain't it man it just ain't it you know like i get that they were trying to make this game more su- accessible to people or whatever but full throttle is not it man you need some throttle control um moments to come in there and you know like we're just running the top for the most part and i like that towards the end it was actually hard to kind of get around the guys because they were running the bottom the short way around and you know like you had to run the top which was the longer way around you could get a run on the straight you know like because they can't you know they can't come up all the way so they can't use the whole racetrack to keep their speed up so they so you get a run on the top but they're on the bottom, so they have the advantage in the corners. You have the advantage coming off the corner and on the straightaway. So, I mean, I like that aspect of it, and that's that. You know, that's true to life. But it you know, just that full throttle stuff ain't. That's not hitting, man. <laughs> that's just not hitting, man. We we need less less full throttle. Better racing has always been for more off throttle time. You know, like when you have to really work the throttle and the wheel through the corner. So, I can't say I really enjoyed that race for the most part. Um, like for the first part of it, I just wasn't, I just wasn't enjoying it, you know? So it just became like a thing where it's like, I'm just going to try to get through this. And then we, we had, uh, we had a, we had a stack up, you know, we had to stack back up. We had a caution, which I was surprised still happened. I was honestly surprised still happened, but we had a caution, had a restart and yeah, wheel spin. Wheel spin is a thing, so I'll have to make sure I am much more careful. I haven't experienced wheel spin. Every now and again, I'll experience it in NASCAR heat. Every so often, I will experience some wheel spin where I'll just start to to spin out. And I have to like lift a little bit just to kind of get it under control or whatever. But every now and again in NASCAR heat, I'll experience it. That's the first time I've really experienced it. Anything to, to that degree since nascar 15 and i like nascar 15 because it has that aspect now i will admit it's a bit much (laughs) it's a bit much i mean like you just barely touch the trigger and you can spin out so easily but you can you know set it up to where like you can limit it you know quite a bit so to where it's like it's it's much more manageable and everything so um so yeah we're still sitting p3 in the points we're going to the fan favorite in uh how many weeks maybe two weeks let me see check the old schedule we have now i've been recording like mad man (laughs) i have been recording like a madman but we have uh oh we've actually got a while we've got a little while so um yeah we've got a little while before we actually get to that so we have all the way through July, which is going to be booked up. So, yeah, the next race is going to be in August. We got to wait all the way to August for the fan favorite, man. So uh, <laughs> that's unfortunate. But, I mean, that's just the way the uh, the schedule's falling. We're just trying to fit these in every time we don't have an Xfinity Series race. So we're just we're doing what we can we do what we can but we got two in august we got lucas oil and then the world's fastest quarter mile slinger for the second half of the championship season here in the super late model regulation series i'm looking forward to both of these tracks slinger is a great deal of fun it is a great track i love it i'm glad that they have it in this game lucas oil of course irp again the fan favorite everyone loves it you just you have no choice (laughs) everyone loves it so you just gotta you you had to you gotta show out here i wish there was just a little bit more off throttle time which there is in these cars that versus the srx cars where you just kind of burp the throttle just a little bit to get through there but yeah i'm looking forward to both of these races they're going to be super fun should be a lot should be some good racing you know better than what we had here at chestnut county (laughs) so that that's a missed opportunity i'm sorry that is just a seriously missed opportunity to have that much banking and you know just full throttle on a short track just ain't hitting but anyway that's all i got man thank you so much for watching be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss out on the fan favorites you gotta see them these races are going to be awesome we're starting from the back as always so you know it's going to be it Ah, especially when we get to Slinger, it's going to be an absolute log jam fest. <laughs> it's going to be a slog to try to get through there. We may have to actually bump the laps up to try to make that a little bit more, you know, realistically competitive or whatever. But yeah, it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. And of course, we go to Lucas Oil, which, you know, 
That's going to be awesome. That's going to be awesome. The two fan favorite tracks coming up here on McBlam Racing. So make sure you subscribe, click the notification bell so you do not miss out. Leave a like on the video. Support the series. Comment down below. No full throttles on short tracks. No full throttles on short tracks. Tell your friends. Tell your family. Tell your loved ones. No full throttle on the short tracks. We don't do that here. That's not what we do. That's not what's hitting, all right? <laughs> Get it right. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> thanks so much for watching, guys. We'll see you in just over a month at the Lucas Oil Raceway.